Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of the tutorial. Uh, where we left off in the first tutorial, we created a blank window. So, in this video, we're gonna put some buttons and also an output box for the calculator. Uh, for that purpose, we're gonna need to use some QT widgets like Q widget. Q, uh, Q push buttons and also Q line edit. Let's first create a central widget. I'm gonna use Q widget and we call it widget self dot widget is Q widget. Then we set central widget. which is self.widget okay, now we have that central widget next we can uh, create other widgets uh, let's first create a output box for that we're gonna we're gonna need to use qline edit self.line or you you can give whatever name you want but uh, I'm just going to use line because it's easy for me to remember that this is a line edit. Okay. Self dot line equals Q line edit. And we're going to put Q line edit onto the Q widget. So we put self dot widget in here. Self dot widget. Okay, if we run this, let's see what will happen. Okay, we have that Q line edit above here, but the size is uh, very small, so that is not good. Now let's fix that. We wanna uh, set the size. Now let's set the size of the uh, Q line edit. To set the size, we can use uh, set geometry function. So, self dot line dot set geometry. This function takes uh, four arguments. The first two arguments will be the coordinates, which is x and y, and the last two arguments will be width and height. So let's create variables for that. x equals uh, 10, y equals 10, and then width, mm, let's do 700, and height 100. Then we just uh, input all of them in here starting from x and then y width and height okay let's run this here we have it that's good enough um, but we can still fix the y coordinate okay let's do it Okay, let's do this, Let, uh, set that to maybe 40, okay, let's run that, yeah, that's good enough. Now we have the uh, output box, so next we want to put some buttons uh, below the output box. But we're gonna need a, a holder for that. Uh, for that purpose, we're gonna use Q widget again. So self dot Q dot widget to equals Q widget, and we also put this Q widget inside the central widget, which is also a Q widget. 
the self dot widget and we set the layout for this uh, Q widget uh, the grid layout because that is the best layout to create a calculator because it can arrange the buttons very neatly okay now self dot grid is q grid layout self dot widget to dot set layout uh, self dot grid okay if you run this it shows nothing because we don't have any buttons or any widget within that uh, widget too yep nothing happens 